Hello again, I'm James Taylor, the author of Jazz and Improvised Piano, and this is a video primarily for my students in preparation for the visit uh, by Jason Robello um, next February. Um, this is a, a piece of his album called A Clearer View. That's A Clearer View, and the artist is Jason, Jason Robello. Um, and the piece is called Medusa Seducer. So, um, those of you who are very, very keen are quite welcome to dig out to go and buy Jason's album and to and to find out the um, and 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 then this video will make a lot of sense to you. But this is primarily, as I say, for my students to help them in preparation for this masterclass. So, what we got first of all, Jason's got this sort of bass figure going. flat B flat D flat E flat and it's that loop and in the right hand we've got these chords um, we've got this A flat minor chord three flat six and nine go into this chord we've got a fourth at the bottom and a major seventh on the top then to a sus chord then to a sort of D major chord so we've got this sort of thing going on Sometimes Jason puts a G sharp on top of that chord like that. So, right, I'm going to now play the bass line and the chords. The idea being that you can then improvise over the top. Um, or you can just practice finding the chords in your left hand. Or you can do the bass part and the chords. You can just play, you know, various combinations of chords, um, harmony and on the tune you can either improvise or play the melody and I'll leave this for you to have a really good play with just just try different combinations now the tune itself for this bit is so that's so right here's the backing track one two three Okay, so the next section now is uh, it's basically a B13 chord going to an A13 chord. So we've got this chord. This is a B13 chord, 7, 3, 6, going to that, which is an A13 chord, 7, 3, 6. And the left hand's got this F sharp. So F sharp, G sharp to B, C sharp to D, down again. Then and the right hand. So we've got an F sharp. first part again and so on so I'm just going to play again the bass and the chords and you can play um, again just 
sort of freely um, the chords in the left hand, improvise in the right hand, or play the tune. Okay, here we go. Okay, and after that, we go back to the A section. Ba -ba -ba -dum, do -do -do. Okay, so anyway, we'll, we'll move on to the next section. Um, the next section is basically an A13 chord throughout. So we've got like this sort of um, this sort of thing going on in the left hand. It's a, it's a sort of bass A, and the upper part is like a sort of G major seven chord going to a sort of uh, going to this. This basically, by, by, by the way, this is basically an A11 chord here. Um, we got the seven, nine, and the eleven, and the thirteen, and then this eleven just resolves to become a third. So you got an A13 chord. He actually adds this this sharp four sometimes. So he does that sort of several times. Um, just at the end of the section, to lead back into the first section again, he plays this D flat major chord, which is actually over an E flat bass. I can just about reach it here. It's basically an E flat 11 chord, which leads you back into the A flat, which leads back into the section again. So, anyway, again, I'm going to play you the chords and an A bass, and you can just play over the top. Oh, the tune, by the way, uh, is... Um and then... Um, that's how it leads back into the first section again. However, we'll just loop around the... We'll not do that, that link. But I will put that chord right at the end of the sequence. I'll give you a shout before I do. So here's your A13 chord, and my right hand is just going to play these chords. And you can, again, improvise, play the melody, um, get yourself familiar with the harmony. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's the bulk of the piece. Now, there is this wonderful linking section that Jason has. Now, the chords for this are quite complicated. Um, the first chord um, is like a sort of, it's like a, a sort of B11, a B11 chord. So it's like a sort of a B bass there. And the right hand has got like a sort of, a13 chord. So that chord there. It's like an A major triad with a G sharpened up. And then you go into the sort of C minor chord. C minor in 7, 9, 3, 5. C bass again, and go into that. And then going down to this, like a G added 9. 
a G major triad with an added nine there over a B. So that little bit sounds like this. And the next bit then is like a C uh, 13 chord, B flat major over C bass. B flat major chord. Going to a C sharp minor in a 7, 9, 3, 5. Going to a C major chord. Now this is this sort of chord, it's a very nice chord here. This is a C major chord. And that sounds like this. Okay, and the um, the link into the next section is it's like a sort of E11 chord. It's, this is like a sort of D major triad over an E bass. E bass, that is. D major chord on the top. Going to a B add nine chord. This looks sort of sus chord. You've got a sort of B, C sharp, and F sharp. You know, it's over. Uh, it's, it's over a D sharp. And that goes to this E major triad over a D. That's a D bass there, and an E major triad on top. And that bit sounds like this. And then he's got like an A13 chord. Right, so that section I'm going to play several times. I want you to just play it with me. And if you're ready to improvise at the top, please do a little bit. This is going from the, um, from the B13 chord. Okay. Two, three, four. Now then, the next section um, is, is sort of fairly short, but it's a fantastic section. He's got like an A flat minor chord in, we can play it in 7, 9, 3, 5. Going to a D nine chord. Okay, so the bass player is like, your, your left hand can play that D of course. Going to a G minor chord. I'll play those three chords again. You've got A flat minor, going to a D seven with a flat and ninth, going to a G minor. The A flat minor and the G minor can be in seven, nine, three, five. So first of all, A flat minor, going to a D seven flat nine, going to a G minor seven, nine, three, five. And then he goes to a, a B minor chord. We can play a straight B minor chord like this. So those four chords so far.
And then we've got a B flat 11, uh, which is basically an, an A flat major 7 chord over the B flat bass. And then he moves to this chord here, which is basically a B flat 7 with a flat 9 and a sharp 5. There's your flat 9, there's your sharp 5. Now, you can see this first chord, the B flat 11, as, as having a C minor triad on the top, and the second chord as having a, a B minor triad. So you've got like a C minor triad falling down to a B minor triad there. And this finally goes to this E flat minor chord. So those three chords And the tune uh, on top um, it's a great little tune there and then we get this this so Only every other time he, he finishes it slightly differently. So we've got. So that section then, again, just play the chords with me, uh, going from the A flat minor. And then it goes back to the first section again. Right, okay students, I do hope that you find this very useful. Um, <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've not studied the piece in quite as much depth as I would like to have done at this point here, but I'm hoping I've given you some material that you find very useful and some material that, that over the next few weeks will get you right on top of the piece, ready for Jason's visit. Okay, have fun with it.